Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. Today we're going to start to play the game um, Tim Thimbleweed, Thimbleweed Park. Yes. Um, uh, all I know it was like uh, me, my girlfriend and um, a friend of ours uh, played that game and I stumbled upon them like playing that like um, one was playing it and he was desktop sharing it and we, so we were playing like kind of together and from that little part that I watched with them together it was quite hilarious so I thought why well, don't get it it was free on um, Battle.net is it Battle.net? Epic Games Battle Launcher I think uh, it's the Epic I got it from the Epic Game Battle Launcher I don't know what's the name it, it is Epic Game Launcher I guess and we are going to start. That was the most confusing start ever, but just hump it, jump into the game and see what adventure it waits us. Um, casual mode if you're new to the adventure games or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is no, there's so much to do, free tutorial including. Hard mode, if you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Once you choose the mode, you cannot change it without starting a new game. If you can, play it in casual mode, then play again in the hard mode and see additional puzzles. Okay, let's actually try it in casual mode first. Because life is easy and we enjoy it all. Text above the curse, look at the key card, interact with the character. Give commands, blah 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 blah. Items, see character, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. That's very basic. Good. I know that. 1978. That doesn't look good. Poop alert. Poop 80. Alert. Population 80. Uh, part 1. The meeting. Here we go. Crystal in. Can we start doing anything? Oh no. 1.7 miles. It looks pretty. Jesus Christ. Is it us? I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Are we German? Here we go. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of an inferior American social support system? I believe we are German. I don't know his name, but I call him Hans. Um, I have to go. I'm sorry. I could not offer you a drink. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? <gasps> uh, I need some whiskey. I am supposed to meet someone down here. 
Have you seen anyone? Yeah, mm. I have any whiskey. Let's Are be you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. What? Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Well, he's gone. I have to go. Sleep well. That's the German precision. Turn off the light above the trestle trade sign. I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Okay. Why do we have to look at... Um... I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. Pick up. I wonder if I can use this rock to put <laughs> out the light. Here's the rock again. It is a rock. Here we go. I do not see a way to turn it off. Pick it up, give a talk to it. No, I don't want to. Use, yeah. Why did I try to use that? Yeah, yeah I've completed step three of the door. Oh, I interrupted him. Meet me at the large entrance to the sewer. Okay. Jesus. Oh, he's quite fast. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Oh boy, that was quite unexpected. My heart, my poor, poor heart. Oh, how much it would have changed us all. Part two, the body. Oh no, don't tell me Hans is dead. Hans, what are we? X Files. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially <clears throat> some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Ray is. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. <laughs> Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> what? The body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Uh, use Polaroid camera. There's no film in the camera. Are you kidding me? Look at notebook in your cell phone. Uh, pick up. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. To close body. And let's take a closer. That makes no sense at all. It's not an open door. Um, look at. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. <laughs> Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Oh, interesting. <coughs> so we have been. Uh, the hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. Um, actually, can we go here? We should go find the sheriff. 
We should go find the sheriff. Okay. That's disgusting. Better take a deep breath. Ugh, you're a disgusting woman. Why should you take a deep breath? Let's see. Oh. Jesus Christ. If you run that fast. Are we going to oversee something? This is like, appears to be male appropriate. We're 40 years old. Oh great, someone age. Some other agent just set up a bracelet. I wasn't aware to be had been alerted. I need to ditch it. Hmm. That's not quite nice. Okay, just let's go and open the I game. think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Are you kidding me? Use. There's no film in the camera. Um. Click on the flashing. Oh. His suit looks like Taylor from Europe. The body's starting to pixelate. Hey, Ray's going to get on my nerves. Hopefully, she stays focused on the case and let lets me do it. What I need to do. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. Um, it only contains one photo. Okay. I already have it. GIF. Ray, here like we go. I don't have enough to carry already. Oh, don't be so. Uh, use. Here we go. Um, use dunk. Dunk. And again, uh, we can do everything. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Okay, here we go. Open that thing. And let's go. Point and click adventure. I enjoy it. Here we go. To execute high. Highlighted verbs. Double click to have a quickly cursus location. Hold down the left button to get your character following the cursor around. Switch characters. Save. Load. Space. Skip dialogue. Experiment with your keyboard to find hit shortcut keys to select verbs. Mm, pick up ten of them. Can we um, pick up? That was weird. Walk to Super Slayer. Pick it up. Look at it. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What are you dressed like, a giant? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. What, what signal? signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Hmm. Yes, you already said that. But, but what, what signals? signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Oh my Very God. strong. This is really odd. Should I just save my game? This is really odd. <laughs> Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. That's but I'd cute. watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid.
You almost ran over a federal agent. It's so That's cute. A felony. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Okay, we are pretty sure. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. Ooh. We don't know anything about a dead body, <clears throat> but the signals are strong tonight. Okay, the signals Very are strong. strong. Okay. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Squeak! That was an awkward situation. I don't see anything up ahead. I don't see anything up ahead. I don't see anything up ahead. I... Wait. Oh, damn. We have to actually go there. Squeak! No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Okay, I've got to... You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Squeak. Oh, we finally Was. open. No need. The perps are outside. <laughs> oh my God, they're so freaking annoying. <laughs> uh, look at. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Yes. Cemetery. We should go find the sheriff. We should go find the sheriff. Okay, okay, I will go find the sheriff. But I really like it. Normally, imagine it kind of looks old school. But the thing that I like about it is like, you don't have to read everything. Ooh. We are being watched. Wait for me. Yes, finally. Walk to hint line flyer. Look at this. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. How about a hint on me getting out of this crazy town? Pick up. Better leave it be. Hmm. That dog Howdy. Song. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight we are Feds. Cut the Marbury crap, we're taking over this case. How long are you going to let the body rot in the river? I'm Agent Ryan, and this is my uh, partner. Only a place where we serve good pie. I'm Agent Ray, and this is, um, uh, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, <laughs> huh? There is nothing little about Do murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. <laughs> Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. Okay. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? Um, okay, we have here over there weird um, black Flanders. What's it his name? Flanders? From The Simpsons? I don't know actually right now. But yeah, we have here weird black Flanders reno 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 around. And uh, the fourth wall breaking is just a great thing. 
Uh, push. What? Howdy who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made <clears throat> by Philotronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us the blood. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Mm. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. I guess the same two fingers goes for the Facetron 3000. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arino. <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. And you the Chevarino? Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. <laughs> God. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate on the Pillow Factory fire? Did you use these computers to investigate the Pillow Factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. What is it? Uh, Pillowberg? What? Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Just Not get information, I would say. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Um. I think we have enough. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the <laughs> futuristic year of 2017. Oh, uh, it's like a reference to like... I uh, hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. This is like kind of a hint of... To the... Of, what was it? Name? Back to the future? It's, I, it's been such a long time since I played... Back to the Future, um, since I played out, uh, since I watched Back to the Future, so I don't quite know, but I have to feel like it's kind of a reference. Look at... Maybe they should call it Vampire Tron? Use... Impressive, but nothing happened. Look at the photo. Impressive, but nothing happened. Um... Look at Atari Carteret. Atari, oh my god, that's so old. Um, use. Do we have to put another? Impressive, but nothing happened. Uh, I'm kind of confused. 
find the thing of Ah, uh, I need to stay focused and. Okay, we have the same blood run insert as ever. From the dead body and something found on a subject with blood on it. Okay. Let's go actually up. Open. Drop. It's empty. Okay. Let's actually go help. To the sheriff now, and oh my god, no! Uh, um, Paul, can we? It's already closed. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Areno computers. Um, with some very serious computing power you've got there, you also the cor corner right, you mean? The corn said something about Verstron. What else do you know about the Pillar Factory 20 years ago? You're also the coroner, right? Oh my no! <laughs> no, 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 Areno. Uh, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. This thing will break my head. I just know it and I'm already excited for that to have a complete meltdown. Um <clears throat> You I mean the corner said something about the arrestron? Yes, the arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized arena arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed oh my God, and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck, who is Chuck? We keep hearing about it. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery a Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Just everything so they stop talking saying Looks Reno. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make <clears throat> things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. So it seems we are, we are following the... Uh, it seems like the two main characters are those two. Walk to wanted person. Walk to police front 3000. Uh, look at... It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Okay. We just let's open the door. And here we go. Damn. Open. Not again. I can't. I literally can't. Okay. Nope. Let's continue. What? Ah, come on. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Slight leak? Can I do to help? Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC67? Yeah, we're out of that size. 
Must have been the signals. The yeah, signals. And I just so pick up wrench. Don't touch our wrench tron three thousand. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Try it again. Don't touch our wrench tron three thousand. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. It seems that we cannot seal it. I mean, get it. Oh, but I didn't want that. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at uh, look at. It says need help playing thimble with Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at four four six eight. Hmm. This makes no sense. Uh, probably it's for puzzle. Look at. Said, look at <sighs> walk to sign. Look at sign. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. There is a sign on the door. I want to look at sign. It says. We're out at the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. What is this pillow factory? Oh my. Hmm. Okay. That seems to get interesting. So I would say it's a good point to end the episode, the first episode here. I still have no clue what's going on, probably as you guys, and I hope we can solve some murder mystery like X-Files style. I hope you guys enjoyed it, would be nice if you leave a like where if you enjoyed it, and if I any missed anything, feel free to correct me. Yeah, I have no clue right now how this game's work, but it's gonna be like Throne Breaker, I will eventually figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.